and thank you for joining us today. I'm here with Gregory Hayes from Gregory Hayes Photography. So we're going to sit here and talk to him a little bit about his business in Clarksville, Tennessee. So tell me, Gregory, how long have you been doing photography? So professionally, I've been doing photography for probably about a year and a half to two years, um, which is not very long in the professional world. Right. Um, but having a camera in my hand, I've probably had a camera in my hand for most of my life. Um, so it wasn't until about two years ago that I decided to, to do it professionally. So it's something you've always been interested in, but then you decided, I could really make a career Yeah, it was a, this. it was a trip to Ireland and a, a trip afterwards to China that I decided I need a camera for both of these trips. And so I went ahead and invested in some good gear, um, and that was the start of it. Yeah. So what, so you've been doing it for almost two years professionally, what do you specialize in? Well, when I first started, I really loved portraiture, so taking pictures of people uh, and capturing their essence, and that morphed into weddings, because nice. people get married and engaged and love stories, and so I got lots of requests because of my other work to take pictures of their weddings. Okay. So somehow I got sucked into that, thankfully, that's a great, it's a great business, um, and that's morphed into other things now, too. Like what? So, I do a lot of commercial work as well, so food and product photography. How I got into that, I don't know. I just, if you got a good camera and you got good lighting and a little bit of know-how, you could make some great looking pizza photos and um, things like yes, that. Yes, because I've noticed like a lot of our local businesses, they do have photos of their actual food, but what drives me crazy is when I go out to eat and it's a stock image of something in the menu. Yeah. And that item might not even be in the menu. So local businesses, if you have food or anything that you need to show in your store or restaurant, call him because I am way more likely to order something higher priced on the menu if it's an actual photo of that item. Or even I've noticed sometimes I'll notice that there's a local cafe every day they'll post online Usually. Pictures of food, like the special, and it's the actual item, and then I'm like, yeah. I have to have that. And how much better would it be if it wasn't an iPhone photo? Yes. <laughs> right. I don't have an iPhone, so right. I don't take photos of that. But um, you also do real estate photography. Gregory has Just taken three, yeah. three different sessions for me now, three and more, my yeah. clients, my sellers, have all been very happy, and the pictures have come out great. So at the end of this video, we will have a few samples of his work um, there for you. And then you also did a really fun Christmas shoot for us at the office. So those will be coming out in December for everybody who follows ClarksvilleHomeowner.com and Facebook.com backslash Clarksville Homeowner. So when we were getting ready for those photos, all of us were super nervous and we were fixing our hair a thousand times and we were kind of like pretending to be like, playing in fake snow that was not there and we have Christmas music going and a Christmas tree just trying to get into the spirit of it. What advice would you give people who are about to take photos just because I feel like if you're hiring a photographer it is for a special moment that you're trying to capture yeah. and so people are probably a little nervous. Mm -hmm. So what would you advise? So for anything, whether it's engagement shoots, weddings, real estate, commercial, you name it, fashion, a lot of people have an idea in their heads of what they want it to look like. Mm -hmm. And so I'd say, number one, tell your photographer what that idea is or show them a picture of, of it. So if you saw it on Pinterest or Instagram, share it. Yes. Because for me, I like to see what's inspiring them. And so I'll take that idea and usually tweak it and make it my own. Or replicate it to the T. It just depends on what it is. Right. Um, especially for wedding photography. Because they have a lot of dream pictures. And it's very important for me to get those dream pictures for them. But I also add my own flair. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So. Because their wedding, that's one day. Mm -hmm. They might have a vow renewal. They might, you know, have something like that later down the road. But the wedding, it's that one day. You're not going to come back in like three weeks and be like, okay, well, let's reshoot the cake scene. Cake's gone. Mm -mm. You know, so no. you're trying to get it perfect. All right. Well, thank you for joining me today. 
And everybody, check out Gregory Hayes Photography. He is on Facebook. You can find him on Google. He has his own website. And here at the end of the video, again, you're going to see some samples of his work and also his contact information. Thank you. Bye. Bye.